Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As you know, we are doing history of English literature. In previous videos, we talked about all ages, chronology. Later, we talked about the age of Chaucer and its social conditions. Third video was about poetry in Chaucer's age. We were doing a discussion over three periods in Chaucer's poetic career. First was the French period. The second was Italian period. And the third one is the English period. So let's go through this period and let's see some facts about this period for our exam, exams. So the English period. English period uh, was, we can say, most productive period of his literary career. So the first, a few smaller poems we can take like former A's, fortune, truth, gentleness, lack of steadfastness. Crowning and monumental work was the Canterbury Tales. Let's see some facts about the Canterbury Tales. There are 24 tales and these are consist of words and the prose. Both are used there. And there are only two prose tales which is which are Chaucer's Tale of Malibus and the Parson's Tale. Four tales are incomplete. And so we know that uh, there are 20 tales which are completed. Four tales are incomplete. Group is going where they are going. The whole group is going to uh, going from London to Shrine to Thomas Packet. Remember this thing at Canterbury in the spring of uh, April in 1385 or in between 1385 to 1387. There were there is in and that is Tabard in Henry uh, Harry Belly is a jovial host of that in only 23 pilgrims got their turn to to tell this story. All words tales are composed in Deca syllabic or heroic couplets. So these are important facts which you need to uh, qualify the exam. Now here I have a shortcut way for to remember all the works by Chaucer. You can read this uh, two three times. ABC prayer learned from the book of Duchess and visited or you can say he visited the House of Fame with Troilus and Cressida. There, Parliament of Fowls told the story of Cressida and Canterbury Tales with some poems. Okay, so some poems and other. You can let's go through this once again to uh, get it revised. ABC Prayer learned by the learned from the Book of Duchess and visited the House of Fame with Troilus and Cressida. There, Parliament of Fowls told the story of Glycida and Canterbury Tales with some poems. So, fully liked it. Here, Chaucer's characterization we will be talking in next video. And uh, here are all the characters we will be talking about tomorrow. So, you can uh, see some uh, Chaucer's characterization and we can go through this one. First character delineator in English. Uh, were Chaucer and different classes of society of 14th century. So what, why this work is important in English literature? Because it gives a clear picture of 14th century. Characters from what he saw around, it means he was writing about the people all around himself at that point of time. From different professional conducts, so he was the person who showed uh, he showed us uh, all the different profession of his time. The monk, the prioress, the friar, the summoner and the partner. These were ecclesiastical fig uh, figures and they represent corruption in church. The shipmen, the type of uh, you know adventurous seamen, half smuggler and pirates. Clerk of Oxford, they, uh, they have passion for learning group of guild members from manufacturing act, uh, activities. There was also a country squire, canny doctor, Paris priest, the thieving miller, good-hearted wife of Bath and the prioress is a teacher of young ladies. So in next video we will be talking about the all um, characters. So hopefully you like this series. If you like this series please do share 
and help me to grow uh, the channel and uh, thank you for watching this video please do like and comment your ideas in comment box see you in next video good luck for your exams